this is the spot where I laid bleeding, fighting for my life. I remember the pain when a knife pierced my skin and I remember the fear when I looked down and saw the blood. Didn't know the guy, 16 years on, still don't know him. It was completely unprovoked, but that's the thing with knife crime, doesn't discriminate. I was born in Jamaica. I've got some amazing memories of playing in the fields and the forests near my house, chasing and catching animals. We were always outside. We moved to North London when I was six, to this estate. My mum would say I was adventurous and curious as a child. I had an urge to explore the outdoors. I'd spend as much time as I could outside. We always tried to stay out of trouble, but sometimes trouble has an unfortunate way of finding you. It can be a case of wrong place, wrong time. And that's the problem. One that I feel hasn't changed for 15 years. Young people are still dying on our streets. And for what? Where are the positive role models? Where's the incentive to change? And where do we go from here? From my experience, this all changed in summer 2005. Me and my brother built a moped. While he was riding it, he was pushed off of it and it was taken. I marched onto this estate and demanded the bike back. The guy pulled the gun, he raised his arm and he cocked it and he pulled the trigger. And then he cocked it again and then he pulled the trigger again. I looked around thinking I should be dead. I must have been shot. The gun luckily misfired twice. I count my blessings every single day. This could have gone down a different trail retribution, retaliation, settling scores. You see it all the time. I know people in jail for murder, stabbings, assault. I wasn't gonna let that be me. I realized I needed to do something to separate me from these people and the lifestyle. I was active and loved the outdoors, so I decided to do a half marathon. I wanted to raise some money for Mothers Against Violence, and when I did it, it felt great. So I signed up for the Three Peaks Challenge, and I just found I wanted more and more and more. I heard that Ben Fogel and James Cracknell were looking for a third member to join their team in an expedition to the South Pole. But unfortunately, I applied too late. They did, however, tell me about another expedition heading to the North Pole. For me, this was amazing. I was really lucky. In May 2010, I became the first Black Briton to make it to the magnetic North Pole. Friends told me black people don't do the cold. Jamaicans don't like snow. I wanted to prove to myself and others that no matter what your background, colour or class, anything's achievable. I wanted to be an example. I now work with underprivileged kids and use the outdoors to help them deal with the stresses and anxieties of inner city life, from broken homes to violent crime. I took a group of young people out to Epping Forest a while back. One kid turns to me and says this is the first time I've been out and not had to worry about being stabbed or anything like that. A lot of the young people I work with have never heard just natural sounds like the wind or birdsong. There's always been a chorus of traffic and sirens in the background. These are powerful experiences. We need to show young people that there's a different way. We need more role models, we need more diversity, and we need more access to local green spaces in a safe environment. The outdoors doesn't discriminate. The outdoors is for everyone.